Gold Coast awaits on uh, Wednesday night. Uh, despite being tap top of the ladder and they being bottom, you still have no three points uh, against them. What are you going to do to change that uh, on Wednesday night? Yeah, look, uh, Gold Coast is obviously with all the turmoil up there at the moment. It can work two ways. They can either you know, come out and fight for their lives uh, to prove to people uh, what's going on is not right, but at the same time they're fighting for their uh, own personal futures. Uh, so it's going to be a tough game, and you know Gold Coast in the past have been a difficult team to play against. But uh, you know with the reaction of a new coach in, in charge, in Mike Mulvey, they uh, saw their game last week against Melbourne Heart, and you know a lot of young boys. So it's going to be a tough game, and again, it's I prefer to focus on ourselves, worry about what we can control, and that's our our own performance. And we've got to make sure that uh, we we put in a good performance on Wednesday night. How do you think the players react to that? They had to go to Gold Coast again. Ah, look, it's part of football, and uh, you know it's actually given us a bit of time last week to train, and yeah, with three games this week, so it's no problem at all. It's uh, an easy trip up to the Gold Coast from Newcastle flight, so it's only a 45-minute flight. So we get up there and we train up there, and we'll have a camp situation where we'll stay up there after the, the game and get ready for Melbourne Heart on Sunday as well. But at the moment, the focus is, you know, Gold Coast and and putting in a good performance and getting three points. How uh, would you say that camp may be a good uh, thing for you to prepare for uh, the Champions League uh, camps as well? Yeah, look, it's, uh, <clears throat> it is one of the, the points that we looked at is a camp situation for the ACL, but uh, you know, I'm not even thinking about the ACL yet. I've got uh, uh, someone working on that on T-Engine for me uh, who will give us all the information. We're concentrating on the moment at the A-League, and that's uh, Gold Coast on, on Wednesday night, and it's one game at a time. And uh, we'll have a look at Tianjin probably in the middle of next week and get ready for them after we play Sydney FC. So the focus is the league, uh, the, uh, the competition, and and uh, get three points. If we then look back at the Wellington game here, uh, what did you see here that you didn't see in the two last game that we had to defeat in? Yeah, look, it's uh, it's no punishment to lose games. It's uh, it's part of football. You win and you lose. And. Uh, I felt that we played very well against Melbourne Victory. I thought that our performance against Brisbane wasn't right, but against Melbourne Victory we put in a, a real good performance. I think the red card hurt us and uh, Melbourne Victory probably had their best game of the season. So uh, when you put that into the mix and you know I stayed positive all week and encouraged the boys to perform in the same way they did against Victory and I felt that we did that against Wellington and uh, our football performance was very good. Um, our passing was good, our movement was good, and uh, we created a lot of chances. And you know that's always a good thing. If you create chances, you're always, uh, always closer to a win. You know the concern is what the day that you don't uh, create chances. So you know, our performance against Wellington was very good. And you know when you look at uh, first v third uh, position on the tables, um, uh, on the table, sorry, it's uh, it was a, a good performance.